So I've decided to make a fence and it is entirely out of reclaimed wood and pallets. So I'll give you a look at what I've done so far. So here's the first part of it. So what I've done is I've used a couple of the existing um, bearers you can see there and as you can see they were they weren't they were far from level so I've had to level them up with some chocks these wooden chocks this one wasn't so bad on this side but I didn't want to take these out because they are very strong so anyway I've used old 2x4s the main structure as you can see I've, I've used pallet wood at the top there for the, uh, the toppers to protect the cut ends of the wood I've reinforced it with shelf brackets this is just stud work and uh, another 2x4 here some more brackets and uh, I've used 10mm threaded bolt which I've put through I've cut to size you can buy these in packs and you can cut them, them to the length that you need as you can see it's going through the, the concrete post I've just wedged it there as you can see that is absolutely solid it's going nowhere a 10 millimeter threaded bolt and as you can see I've just started to clad it out with the, the pallet wood pallet wood slats two screws two here I'm gonna follow this sort of line all the way along
So this is the build so far. I've just started to clad it with the pallet wood. So I've started off here, I've put a fence post in. I've used a thick piece of pallet for the top and I've cut it. Um, just sanded it over at the edge so that the rain drops off. As you go down. Pretty simple structure. This is all reclaimed wood. These are all two by fours that I've painted with the fence stain. I've just put some extra brackets in here for uh, support. This one's been cemented in. This post and the other posts, fortunately, there were some concrete bollards already there. This is a crap video. Okay, so here it is so far. I've used slats from the pallets, painted them green. Um, I've, I've screwed them in so that I can replace them if they have a break. There's about a 10 foot section here that I've done. There's about 75 slats of pallet wood in there. And now I'm just gonna repeat the process over to the next part. Right, so, as you can see, the bolts are holding this post into the old concrete post. Um, if you've got old concrete posts like this, don't worry if they're not level or straight. They've probably been in the ground a long time. I find it a lot easier to work with what you've got rather than to rip them out. So what I've done, I've just wedged it with a few bits of wood, you can see here and then the bolts tighten up and squeeze it all together and then what I've done is I've nailed through the back into the wood so it doesn't move but you can see if I just move this look it's solid it's not going anywhere um, so yeah now I'm just going to cut off the excess bolt you could leave this till the end of the job but it can be a bit dangerous it's sticking out like that
There's the bolts neatly cut. And for that, I used a reciprocating saw. This is just a basic one um, with a metal cutting blade. You, know, you can use a hand saw, a hacksaw, but this is much faster. Right, let me show you where I'm at so far. Here's all the pallets that I've been breaking up all over the place. But let's take a look at the fence. I've got some wood dry in there that I've painted ready to go on some over there right so here it is it's coming along it has taken forever but it'll be worth it in the end so I'm just breaking up the pallets cutting the wood to size and I'm painting it up The total length is going to be about 9 metres. There's currently about 130 slats of wood on there. I'm going to, I'm going to put a finishing piece along here just to hide all the, the, uh, the screws. Uh, it's pretty solid as well. Thick, solid, it's good. So I'll show you when I've finished it. Right, another update. Here's all the chaos of all the pallets that I've been breaking up. Now let me show you where I'm at at the moment. I'm just, I've just painted some boards there, just drying. Just using a uh, standard workbench, uh, just a basic brush. So, painting the lengths, then I am cutting them to size with this um, to get a straight edge the uh, set square and I'll show you where I'm at so going along still got to get that stump out all the way down here uh, you might notice there's a there's a concrete post here and there isn't one down there because it's behind the fence and that's because whoever put these in didn't put them in a straight line so to get the fence straight the ones had to be behind ones in front but it's not too ugly so I don't mind so here's the last kind of section that I'm doing I'll put some strengtheners in there um, so uh, that will be done shortly pretty excited to see it finished So finally, here is the fence, all finished. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. It did take a while if you're going to do something like this yourself. Understand it might take a while. But it saves you a lot of money. I've just put a little finishing piece along there to hide the, the joins of the boards. And where I've attached it down here, I've just bricked up the little hole where the concrete posts are and just painted them. There you have it. Uh, about a 28 foot, uh, 8 or 9 meter fence made of solid pallet wood and it is six foot six in height that should last a good while I hope that would have cost me hundreds and hundreds of pounds if I'd have bought the materials all I really bought was the paint um, the stain the bolts the threaded bolt that I used uh, and some screws so it cost me next to nothing it just cost me quite a bit of time so thank you for watching I hope this has given you some ideas if you're going to make one yourself. And I'll see you next time.